Hey guys, I know I'm all scruffy looking, but figured I'd share this with you. This old truck needs spark plugs and it's a V8, so there's eight of them. Let me show you what's going on here. This thing. Uh, wait, no, this one. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh wow, you can see this pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some more light here. So, we've got four on this side connected with spark plug wires. And then four on this side. So, it's an older truck, so it's actually really easy to work on. I decided to go with a new type of spark plug that has been tested and tested and tested and retested in dragsters. Now, they finally come up with the right kind of spark plug. Now, is this truck a dragster? No. Does it need a dragster spark plug? No. But testing and racing helps you determine what would last 100,000 miles. So, this is what we went with, the E3 plug. I've got four in here and four in there. You're also gonna wanna put some anti-seize on there. Okay, so I have some of that. And also, if you're not familiar um, with this, I'm, I'm keeping the same spark plug wires. I do need to replace them, but for now, I just wanna make sure there's some dielectric grease. See that? And it's a grease that is, uh, it's okay for electrical systems. You can put this on connectors of any kind of electrical wiring. But the E3, it's supposed to produce more power, come on, focus, more power and save gas. And we always like more power, come on, we always like more power. And this is a 351 Windsor. It's a 5.8 liter, so it, it's a gas hog. You know, I gotta be easy on my foot or, or the gas goes away too fast. <laughs> so, anyway, let me show you the key. I mean, there's a picture right there. You can kind of see what the, that's what they look like, exactly. And what it is, it's an open electro design. Um, the having the electrode open causes um, having the electrode open causes the burn to happen faster inside this engine. There it is, E3. Okay. First thing I noticed was actually this upper construction. It has a laser weld right here and in my experience, and it's nickel plated, my experience that is a very good thing to have just with sockets fitting on there and doing right. But anyway, so look at this cage. Look at that cage right there. So as the spark occurs, it's gonna blast straight out. On a normal spark plug, it has to go spark and then around the actual electrode tip. So let me show you an NGK Iridium. I, I always used to use NGK Iridium and I put those in my van. I, I've loved them. Okay, so here's an NGK Iridium plug. Okay, and I believe NGK is a very good product. Here's an NGK. Okay, a little different on the construction. The zinc plated here. So this sits directly over the top. So as it sparks, it has to go around that. They claim that this open design produces um, 
a, a more fuel burn or more complete burn I should say than your standard spark plugs so I've already driven the truck I replaced an exhaust manifold I drove the truck kind of did some testing right there and felt like that right now I believe my gas mileage is right around 14 14 miles per gallon so we'll see I know how things run and, and I can get a feel for for the power I don't know if you know am I going to notice this in the seat of my pants while driving I don't know but on all the graphs and videos and, and demonstrations I watched it it seems to be good so I figured I'd give it a try it can't hurt this thing and that's my whole whole design with this truck is I got it because you can't hurt it I mean the body's pretty straight even though it's all rusty but you just still can't hurt this thing so I'll let you know how it goes Wait, look all shiny we're gonna put all these diamonds in this rough <laughs> oh and the other part <laughs> this truck has 315,000 miles so it's a very high mileage I don't think such a loose and worn engine upgrades that you would notice something that's newer tighter something like that with closer tolerances um, you'd probably notice Quite a bit of di difference, more of a difference because things are affected more by little change instead of a little change on something loose. It, it, it's, it's hard to tell. What you're going to want to do is use a spark plug socket, okay? And you can use a regular socket, but you risk damaging the porcelain. These are the old ones. I just want to show you how nasty these are and these are auto light old nasty black oxide these are like the cheapest ones at Walmart that you can get and they're actually even rusted that one's not rusted because I actually took it out and took a wire wheel to it and just kind of cleaned it but we are ready to go I just you want to put a little bit of anti-seize on it and just a dab works you don't want to glob it all the way around but anyway, these don't need to be gapped. And they do have a removable end socket. Always check that what kind of fitting yours needs. So that's, we're gonna keep that on there. I just make sure that they're tight and they just have to be finger tight. These are kind of deep in there. They're kind of hard to see, but man, I can actually see better with the camera. And see my new exhaust manifold gasket okay and I'm just going with my fingers okay because if you start cross threading this your cylinder head is is screwed over so get those in there okay and once you get them all in put a little dielectric grease on them and connect your boots I got them all installed, um, torqued down with a torque wrench, and I put my spark plug boots on with some dielectric grease. You put a little bit on there and click them on. I give them a little turn too, just to make sure it's kind of spread around. Um, but I, I haven't started it because well, you'll probably think I'm crazy, but um, I just I feel engines. I don't just work on them and, and do stuff so I don't want to start it until I can run it up to temperature especially with a new set of plugs and also I want to drive it so I, I didn't want to do that yet so they're just installed I'll have an update for you later on the review after what I think it is you know in this engine all that stuff so I'll get back to you on that stuff but that's pretty much it I mean just it's super easy on this old truck so Good morning folks, uh, this is the first time I'm driving the truck since the spark plugs and I figured I'd talk about it a little bit, um, it 
seems a little different. Um, drive, driving it, it does seem like there's a little bit more like torque, not like power, but like you can just feel it kind of going up the hills and stuff. Um, it seems quieter, which is interesting. I didn't think that would be a factor, but yeah, it, uh, it's some differences. I mean, I haven't really like got on it, but I mean, the truck's fully warmed up. I'll have to see how much, uh, how much fuel gas mileage it changes, but, uh, we'll see. Figured I'd give you guys an update. So it's the end of my day. I'm on my way home. Second time driving the truck with the E3 plugs. I am a fan. I like them. I do notice a difference. Remember when I was talking, I wasn't sure I was going to notice a difference, but there's a difference. It's not like, oh yeah. My truck is so much faster. I got new spark plugs, but I mean, it's it's something different, and it's more efficient, and, and the way it burns and runs. So the thing I like mostly is that it's quieter. It runs quieter. So anyway, two thumbs up for e three thumbs up for three e threes. <laughs> I, I know it's cold. Are you hungry? You guys are so hungry. Yeah, which ones? Oh. Oh. Push start to blast. That's your son playing that thing. I know. <laughs> That's what he chose to use his money. Go. <laughs> Shh. Wait. <laughs> but you do it towards him. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay. It's just funny. We're messing with Casey right now. Oh. He didn't get us dinner. Hey, don't bother him. He's so cute. We're gonna cute. have some lunch. Yeah, we're gonna have lunch and fries. Okay, you want you, fries? You sleep then. Close your eyes. Oh, poor Casey. <laughs> All right, Derek bought himself a Hershey's bar. And can I share with, with Daria your... and Dana? Okay, but he bought it with his own money. Wow, because he has a wallet now. Thanks for thinking about sharing, bud. That's good. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> 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 Let's go. Hurry, we gotta go do baths. So, come on, put your shoes away. Put them away nicely. You know how to take these off? Yeah. Okay, you go put them away, just like that. I'll give you water. Go. Look at that smile, Derek. Quit it. 